Okay, now that you've burnt the DVD from your DVD recorder with the TV and played the date directly on there, put the DVD in your computer, and this is what will probably happen. It will probably auto-load and start playing. But that's not what we want, so go ahead and close out of that. You might get the little box here that asks what you want to do with this file, if that's how yours is preset. Just close it out. Um, the easiest thing is just go over wherever your files are located to My Computer, whether you want to click the My Computer disk. Um, everybody is different. You want to find your, however you find your DVD drive. So click on your DVD drive, just one click, then you're going to see these two files here. What you want to do is highlight both of them. You can control click or shift click. Then right click, copy, then go to wherever it is, your, you keep your client files, your video files, whatever your filing system is create a new file if you want however you want to do it open that file and then you're gonna right click and paste and this isn't gonna do it because I've already it takes a while depending on the size of your file it could take two minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes depends on how much video you've got in there I went ahead and already did it uh, did it so I'm gonna go ahead and skip here but give it the give it a few minutes however long it takes to get these files off of your DVD and onto your computer then the next thing you need to do is actually can be very critical um, and very simple. Once it's completely got the files off of there, take the DVD out of your computer. It is can easily create issues by leaving that in there. So the easiest thing is just take that out and work solely with the files that are in here. Okay. What you want to do now is go to this video TS. The TS is timestamp. Double click that and open it. You're going to see all these little things that mean not a whole lot to you. This is basically a snapshot of whatever the files are. And then these are the video clips. So if you played, um, if you've got th this particular DVD, has four different clips on it because it's a D, uh, an RW disk so it's rewritable but I have four different ones I rewrote over some and some I didn't. For purposes of the tutorial we're going to go ahead and click video one. You can rename these in here if that's easier for you and right click rename or not however whatever is going to be easiest for you to keep track of your your systems. Okay, so tutorial one, we're going to right highlight it, just single click, then right click, and then open with Windows Live Movie Maker. Click on that, then it's going to open in the Windows Live Movie Maker program, which is comes with Windows 7, and I believe is a free download um, on Windows websites, which makes it very nice. Okay, these are the different frames you're going to be working with. This is your main screen, obviously. You can do a lot of different things, which for our purposes we're not going to do. You can add all kinds of little effects. You can rotate. This might be a good one. If you do happen to have sideways video, you can rotate it here. Before and uh, that can be very helpful. You can do a direct upload to Facebook, YouTube, if that's uh, for other things. But for our purposes. We're going to stick with some really basic things, and that's what I like about this program. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. Or okay, but for our purposes, we're going to stay with some simple things. First thing you need to know if you want, if you have several clips that you want to add onto this DVD, go up here to Add Videos and Photos, click on it, open up the file, and if you want to add any of those additional clips, go ahead and add them. If you want to change the order of what they, whatever order you want, go ahead and add them. Uh, you know, to the file here, that'll populate here in a few minutes. We don't need it now anyway. Okay, go on back up. You want to make sure you scroll up and at back at the very beginning before you start your editing. Once you're back up here, click under here under Video Tools, click Edit, and this is pretty much all we're going to be dealing with here. Okay, you can start playing your video and, and checking it if you want. Which it's real obvious here. 
that I didn't start this, I didn't catch that I had left this on the screen before I started taping, um, or before I, with the recording. But it's easily fixed. What I did is I just, um, I rewound it. It's like so we can get rid of that um, without having to burn a new DVD, all the stuff you normally have to do. What we're going to do, since we don't want it on there, we're trying to clean it up. Is See, I'm dragging my cursor. Think This black line is your cursor. Think of it like your little arrow or whatever. It's the extension of your arrow or finger, whatever. Okay, we want to take it right to the point. Okay, where that sy symbol is off of the screen. We want our date and time, but we don't want all the extraneous stuff. Okay, since this is the beginning, what I'm going to do is click Set Start Point. And it's erasing that first part that I don't want. So this is my new start point that I'm going to start working with. So I can go through here. If you've got any areas you want to clean up, that type of stuff, this is where you're going to do it. You can go through, watch it. You may already know what it is. Look for little glitches. Um, however you want to do it. What I am going to do for the purposes of this tutorial is I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And I'm going to move the cursor. See, I can just click down here and move the cursor wherever I want. Because I know that particular section. Okay, I know about down in here is getting towards the end where the of the section that's good on the video. She's just sitting in a car. And this particular lady happens to be, claims to be, uh, unable to walk without a cane or wheelchair and walker um, even though she's wearing a knee brace she can still walk okay you're gonna see about right here that's about all we need on the video anyway for the client purposes but it goes bad because that's where I it had stopped on the so what I want to do is I want to move my cursor back over in here get to the point that I know we don't really need much we don't really need this with the client but she's in the car he's closing the door we know bad video is coming up so we're gonna go ahead and stop it here what we're gonna do and this is how you edit the video an easy way to just go ahead and split it what it does is it stops there it's just like cutting the old tape doing that okay now we know we got a section of bad video so what we want to do this is fine we're saving that but we know there's a whole bunch here that we don't need you can move your cursor down to different points to check your timeline or go by your minutes if you know what the time is where the section there's several different ways of going back through here actually I know that the whole rest of this is bad so I'm just gonna go on down to the end of this particular clip. Let's see. Alright, I messed, missed a section there. Let's see, even I, nothing works right here when you're doing it. Okay. This is the new video, and actually, what it did with bringing that other video in, it brought it in right at the. Um, same time. What I want to show you is I know this is bad video all through here up until the next section. So we're going to find Oh, it went back up on me. Okay, sorry about this, but actually it's probably good to see what things are going to be happening to you and how you just... Okay, look at the time. We need to know. We need to go way down here. It was like... Okay. But right about 7 o'clock before we get the good video. Okay. So what I want to do is go in here find where I know that next section of good video starts is about right in here. Okay, let's say roughly right here. What I want to do is split it again. And I want to delete. I know that 
the whole section back in there is bad video. So I don't want the client that to go to the client, so I want to delete that. So I've got it split, and I'm going to hit delete. But notice what happened. All the area in f that's to come got deleted. All that that I wanted to wanted to delete is still there. See, we've got our good video here, our first split. So the area that I want is like, oh, no, now what? Well, that little saving button up here, the undo. Just undo it. And here's the, the thing that will drive you crazy because you'll do it a hundred times. Once you split, make sure you move your cursor onto the area that you want to delete. So the section that the cursor is in is the section that will be deleted. See, there we go. So now it moved it back up. We've got the bad video out, and we can start editing our next section of, of tape to get it a little more refined. Okay, that's kind of wicky-wacky there. Yes, that is a new word. So let's get it where it's more stabilized. This is I'm following this lady in Walmart, trying to get positioned. Okay, right about there. It started being not too bad. Okay. And it wasn't anything that was critical or crucial. So what we're going to do is we're... There's two things you can do here. You can split it and delete that section just like we've done on the last one. We're going to undo. I'll show you the other thing you can do. Let's get it back over here. All right. You can set a new start point. As long as it's a new clip then you can um, it'll just move that up to the front it's easiest if you deal with the split when you're within the same clip because you don't want to a, a section so then we're um, use the split within the section if you want to stay with the split throughout the whole thing that might be the easiest thing instead of worrying about your start, start points and end points as long as it's a separate clip then you can use the start and end points Okay, then you can go through. Um, this is actually a fairly long video. This woman claims to be totally disabled, unable to walk or leave her house, and I've been following her at this point, shopping around different stores for about two hours, and she ends up spending another two hours um, here shopping around Walmart. And as you can see, she's not totally disabled, but that's all beside the point. But what you can see is it gives you a chance to get rid of all really clean up your video a lot because you can split you can stop start without big glitches but get rid of all you know somebody walks in front they block you for you know two minutes here I'm changing positions or you know get that part edited out here I can stop it go back clean that up because it's like you know the clients not going to want to see all this okay we got about right so we want right back where we saw her. Let's go ahead and split it and then move it up to where we do want to see it. Oh, she's over there behind the beer. I was hoping to catch her getting the beer. But maybe I'm trying not to get caught but th it's normal. The camera's going to go all over the place. But instead of worrying and going back and forth and spending hours trying to time this just right with your camera plugged into the DVD burner, making coasters out of all your DVDs. It's a whole lot easier to do this. Here we go. Let's split it again. Make sure the cursor's on the former section. Delete. It's all cleaned up. And you can go through the whole video doing that. And it's that simple. This is a section it came through actually this will be give you a little violation we don't need this something that tagged on is saying "Ooh, warning danger will robinson okay so now you got your video basically ready to go that's all there is to editing the video you can play it through the whole way take it back here just like you would a regular movie thing move your cursor up go through it again make sure it's all like you want and then uh... then get ready to save it the another key thing is you're not altering your original files. So you've got those complete 
DVDs, your tape, the original files um, left alone. Because what you're going to do is you're going to save this, save this as a project. Because in case you need, to, there's something you miss. Your boss goes through it. Your coworker, you know, somebody else goes through it and says, "Oh, you missed this little section because you've seen it 800 times and you got tired of looking at it." Um, what your and you got to go back and edit it. So you want to save the project with the edits you've already done, so you don't have to redo the whole thing again. So keep it. I keep it in the same file because that's it's to me it's easier just keep everything in the same file. So if this was the client name or whatever, make go ahead and keep it as the movie maker project with the name on it. So at least you've got the work you've done to this point. But then you also need to burn your DVD. So what you're going to do here, go back down. It's got so many options. You can publish it to all these things. That stuff we're not going to do. If you want to save it to computer to put it on a USB drive, if that's how they want it, the client you can do the you know for a computer and it'll save it in that file. But for most purposes, we're going to do it to burn a DVD. So we're going to um, save it, which this has already been saved, um, and it's going to start doing that. I'm going to cancel this again. Uh, go back and show you one thing here. Okay, see, it doesn't give you really any options uh, because this is Windows and Windows program. It's going to say if it's a Windows Media Video file, which is pretty universal, and it'll burn fine to the DVDs. Everybody will be able to play them. It's your WMV that you see everywhere. Um, if you need to need it in an MPEG-4 format or something, we'll deal with another video on that. It's easy to convert with any video converter uh, software. So anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to uh, save the movie, or save it, and it's going to start compressing. So we'll give it, a, take a break here for a moment until it completes, and then we'll continue. Okay, the uh, Windows Live Movie Maker has saved the file uh, for a DVD, and you'll get this screen here. You can change the title. If you'd like um, the particular clip, I kept it down just two minutes. It'll show up to 150, however. And then, if you want to add more clips, you can. So, if you've got want to do each one individually, put them all together. Um, this is where you can add them. Just click next. You can preview it, do all your normal things. Um, the normal thing. For me, it would be um, there's nothing you don't really want to play with it, mess with it. So you just want to burn it. That's where you put a disc in to your uh, DVD burner because I don't have one in. And in a few minutes, you will have your DVD ready for the client. Uh, you can burn several copies depending on however you copy them. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell on how to easily edit your video, digital videos, analog videos, whichever videos you want to do with the date and timestamp on them. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me or fill out the comments uh, in the section below and I will try to address them if I wasn't clear. And I thank you very much and hope this helps clarify a few things. Thank you and have a good day.